<laughs> Welcome back everybody. Today we are gonna be making a tapestry or whatever you wanna call it that we made a few years ago, but what? Did you just call this thing a tapestry? Yes, I called it a tapestry. It's, that's what it is. It's a tapestry. Ta ta really? It's a tapestry. But no, it's just wall art. Like, we're not even fancy like that. Oh. It's wall art. <laughs> Let me clean this. But, yeah, I gotta get another one of these cases for my GoPro because I broke the thing. I closed the latch and the thing broke. I didn't fling it off, it broke. Like, it just snapped. I think GoPro has it on their website where you can buy individual pieces like that. That way I don't have to buy this whole case. Now I gotta hold it in my hand. It's not locked down. I can't put it in my mounts. It just sucks. But anyway. Yeah, we're gonna make one of these bad boys to put in the living room? Yeah. The guest room. Okay, so for the guest room, it's not that same exact one. It's a elephant, a little funky elephant looking design. Why is it funky? And that's what it is, it's funky. And the funny thing is, it's just a shower curtain. It's just a fabric shower curtain. Every time we have people over, when they come into our office, they see it and they're like, oh man, that's that's nice. What did y'all get that? How much did that cost? And we're like, well, we made it and it was like a total of $20. And they're, and they're like, what? The I, most expensive thing is the shower curtain. Yeah, the shower curtain is like $12. And this one comes from home. Nah, oh, dear Lord, baby brain. This <laughs> comes from Walmart. Um, you get them from Mama, and it's super cute. It's not a funky elephant. That's a funky elephant. It's a super cute Pretty elephant. Cool. Look at how cute he is. Funky elephant. He's super cute. And <laughs> so, oh, that's cute in the picture. Oh, <laughs> but um, like I said, we getting some wall art. We're trying. We're trying. Look, <laughs> look what I did. I wrote what we needed on here. You wrote it on. This woman, this woman was trying her best to find the website. I was asking for the sizes. She's like, I don't know. I gotta look it up on my Pinterest. We about to do it though. We about to, I'm about to cut this wood. And then, oh, I need to turn, turn some lights off. I'm about to cut the wood and then go upstairs with everything and we'll start putting it together. It's a really nice day today, by the way. Feels fantastic outside. It's like 70 degrees. Part two of the the nightstands are coming. I gotta start doing the drawers on it, and that's where the next video will start me doing the drawers. And then I'm gonna plane it to make all these pieces straight, pretty like pretty flat, and all these curves curves should be kind of gone. We'll see. We'll see. But let me get to cutting this wood. I'm gonna cut two 70 inch pieces. Let me get my tape measure. All right, there we go. All right. Dang! <laughs> I keep doing that. All right, let's cut it. Since I got my thing locked down over there, same size, same length, I mean. Now we need four pieces of 68 inches. All right, this could be it. I'm gonna. You're so mad if I did that too fast. And it's not right. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm off by like a quarter of an inch. I'm I'm starting to think I might need to put some Craig hole, some pocket holes in this one. But then again, I feel like I could just shoot some nails in it to keep it straight. That's gonna take too long. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and do this with my nail gun. And it'll be a lot quicker that way, so. Let's get it, y'all. What you want to do is make sure you have all your materials 
together. We're in baby's room right now. <laughs> but um, so you take all your measured and cut wood and you see which ones are mostly the same size. And you should have four 68 inches and two 70 inch pieces. And what you're gonna do is line them up. We'll show you in a second after Nick moves all this junk in the middle of the floor. So we can show you how it's supposed to look, how the frame looks. The material that you need is a staple gun, square just for making sure everything's straight. Brad nails if you're gonna use a nail gun. We use the Ryobi Airstrike Technology nail gun. You're gonna want some wood glue. There's a cool device you can use that's by Irwin that makes sure that you're square. You put the piece of wood in, you tighten down devices, and it pulls it straight. So let's go. This goes at the top. Okay. Unfortunately, we get this pine wood from Home Depot, and we've not found a good Home Depot. Y'all see my cross? <laughs> we've not found a good Home Depot yet. So, like my shirt, oh. my friend Kamaya got it for me. So even though it's really crooked right now, um, this is what it should look like. You should have the four smaller pieces in the middle and the two longer pieces on the end, obviously. Um, and right now, Nick is doing the most because when we did when we did the first one, guarantee you, I'm we ain't do sure none of this. I'm pretty sure we used it. Now we're gonna shoot it with a nail. Y'all, Nick's ashy legs are making an appearance. <laughs> Don't be talking about my legs. Big old head in the way. Oh. Not on the floor. It's not on the oh. So we usually unload the um nail gun just because I'll give you some space. One down, several more to go. Tape measure <laughs> as part of your tools. That, that would help. We'll link the website below to how you do it. There we go. We are in the final throes of finishing up this beautiful tapestry or wall art. Um, so far we have our frame done and now we will move on to adding our shower curtain or the fabric. I need some help. Up. <laughs> 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 Ooh, okay. All right. So this is the beautiful fabric that we have. Make sure it's going the right way. The funky elephant. He's not a funky elephant. That is a, and then it's got like a weird texture to it too. Like you see that? Yeah. I didn't know that was like that. So. It's so like he got a real cloth on his on his back. So you just pull the fabric along the edges and it should drape over nicely. It's gonna be tight, so it's only about an inch or so on every side. So we have to pull and staple. Okay. Alright. So let us begin. When you get to the very end, you make sure you pull the fabric as tight as you can and just do a regular old hospital corner. <laughs> Super duper easy. And it keeps everything in place. And it looks so nice and polished. 
And there it is. <laughs> Boom. That looks good. That is pretty big. But it looks super cool. And then there's this, this really cool part here. Yeah, I like that. It's like a fringe tassel on it. All right, so that's it. It was very simple. I want to say it took less than an hour. What would you say? Yeah, it was like 30 minutes. Yeah, wow, you smell like wood. So I smell like a man. But um, I hope this inspired you guys to do your own DIY projects. Uh, if you ever want one of these bad boys made, just hit us up. We promise it won't take the four to five years it took us to make it. <laughs> if we do, then shipping is free. Oh boy, shipping. We'll talk to you guys in another vlog. Remember to thumbs it up. Subscribe. Yes, send comments of what y'all think about it. And uh, share. Tell everybody you know. Yes, share it, share it, share it. Tell people you don't know. Yeah, that's the thing. Tell people you don't know about the vlog. You are super hot. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know I am. My bad. My bad. But seriously, <laughs> um, so again, make sure you tell people. Tell somebody. Tell your friend. Tell, tell somebody at church. Won't, won't cuss on here. I don't think Nick cuss on here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell somebody at church. All right. Well, we'll see you guys later. All Bye. Right. Bye.